Hello, I'm Jonathan Bennett, and today we're going to take a look at something called FWNOP. It is port knocking on steroids. It's a secure way to open up and traverse a Linux firewall, and we're going to take a look at some work that's been done recently in OpenWrite on a router, and the new Android client, FWNOP2. So, I've got a TP-Link. Right now this thing is on sale for about $20 on Newegg. It's a four meg router and we've got my internet connection coming directly into it and then the only thing connected to it is the desktop here and then I've got my Android device, my tablet and this is hung off of a uh, cell connection so we're going to use these to emulate uh, either a, a home or a work network and then someone connecting from the outside. So let's go ahead and log into the router first thing we'll do is we'll look at our public IP address. As you can see I've already got that IP address punched into Juice SSH on my tablet. I'm going to go back and try to connect to it and it's going to tell me connection refused because the port is closed so anyone on the outside can't get into port 22. Uh, no we won't retry. Now this is where FWNOP comes into play. On the router, I can go to software and tell it to update lists. Uh, the FWNOP service is available in trunk um, for OpenWrite, and as soon as RC3 of the newest release, Chaos Calmer, uh, as soon as RC3 is out, it will be available there and it'll just work. Uh, it's one of the available packages, and we're going to search for FWNOP. The package here that we want is Lucy App FWNOP. Uh, it sort of works like a meta package. It goes out and grabs everything. We will install it. This will take a few moments. Okay, so this installation is finished. Um, we do need to go ahead and reboot the router so that some of the configuration things can finish up. So we'll perform a reboot. Okay, so we are back into the router. We want to go to Services, Firewall Knock Daemon. As you can see, the Base64, uh, the, the encryption key and the HMAC key are filled in. Uh, some other configuration things are taken care of. All we have to do here is tell it to overwrite the internal config file and then tell it to save and apply. Alright, so the router is ready to go. We can then open up FWNOP2 and we're going to create a new config. I'm going to call it router and we're going to give it our IP address and then the really nifty thing that we have here is the ability to capture a QR code. This launches a capture app. All we have to do is hold the device up to the screen it automatically fills in the encryption keys for us. Just have to hit save config. And then down under run SSH app, we have the option to run juice SSH automatically. We're going to connect to our router and tell it to save. And we long tap router and tell it to send knock. It's going to send that SPA packet and then automatically start juice SSH. And there we go, it logs right in when it couldn't before because the port is still closed. Now one other very nifty thing that we can do with FWNOP is instead of just opening the port to the router itself, we can send a command to FWNOP to forward that request and open a port on the external interface of the router and NAT or connect that port through to the desktop itself. So, if I change this to, just so we know what's going on here, router-desktop, and then instead of open port, I'm going to say NAT access. Our desktop's IP address is 192.168.1.241, and I want to connect to port 22 there. 
I tell it to save config. I now have a new configuration here. So I can now long tap that new router desktop and tell it to send knock. And instead of just opening port 22 to the router, it opens port 22 through to the desktop and I am now SSH'd into my desktop from the outside. So hopefully this demonstration of FWNOP and the FWNOP2 Android client in conjunction with uh, the Lucy application FWNOP for OpenWrite has been insightful, interesting to you. Uh, the Android application is available now on the Play Store. It's also on FDroid. And again, the Lucy application is available in Trunk currently. And with RC3, which should be coming in the next few days, of Chaos Calmer, all of that will land in OpenWrite as well. It'll be very easy to get to, just as I demonstrated. All right, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.